Okay, I'm gonna introduce the Challenger Prime software UI right now. When you open the program, you see three main tabs up here, the main control, macro setting, and advanced setting tabs. And we're gonna start with the main control page. On the main control page, uh, the point of this page is to let you remap any keys in the standard layout area that is here from the escape to the control to the enter. Um, in this area, the standard key out, keeper layout area, say you want the F key to function as a different key, say um, B, you know, just type B, hit OK, and it'll flash red here to let you know you remapped it, or you can just click on it and see. So right now what this means is anytime you press the F key, it will function as the B key. On the macro setting page, uh, this page is for you to configure the macro keys right here, T1 through 6 on the left. Um, by default, they are assigned to control 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as they are numbered respectively. That is the standard setting right here. And if you don't want to use them, you can turn them off. Otherwise, you can assign macros to the macros that you've already made in the macro manager and have uh, uh, recorded macros for. It can be set to multimedia shortcut keys and also window shortcut keys. And the last you can assign a shortcut, um, such as Windows plus a certain key or just Control shift alt On the advanced settings page, this has to do with uh, just other performance for the keyboard. Over here you can see you can choose the backlight color, which is, uh, there's three colors to choose from between blue, purple, and red, as well as uh, adjust the brightness between three different brightnesses and also pulse lighting. On the left here you have the polling rate, you have four different selections, and the bottom left here is the repeat rate for the keyboard. All right, now I'm going to explain the bottom row right here. We're going to go back to the main control page. All right, so for the Challenger Prime, at any time you can store three profiles on this keyboard, and you can switch between them freely via the dedicated profile switch button keys up here, M1, 2, and 3. The other benefit of this keyboard is you can also create multiple profiles, more than three, by saving them on your computer. Um, just do whatever you need and click Save. As you can see, I've already saved a bunch here onto the computer and then say you're going to play a different game that you currently don't have a profile for, you would just load it here. In addition, when you create a profile, you can actually tie it to a game, uh, executable. So you're playing StarCraft, so when you launch a StarCraft program and this profile is tied to it, the keyboard, w the keyboard and the software will know to automatically load that profile for StarCraft. And lastly here, the macro manager. So to set macros for a T1 through 6 keys, you have to create a macro first. Um, when you, if you just want to do key presses, you would just start here, hit start record, and it will record uh, which keys you press and release in the order you've done it in, and hit stop record when you're finished. And if the timing of the presses is very important, you just check this right here, record delays between key commands, and you can see it will start uh, keeping track of how long you press a key for, and then the delay between key presses. Once you finish, hit stop record. If you need this specific macro to loop, you would just check this right here and type how many times you want it to loop. When you're all done, make sure to hit apply. It will save all the settings, and this prompt right here will show up saying please wait. Once this goes away, you can just hit OK down here, or hit the X button up here to close the UI, and uh, you're done. You can just go um, play any game you want. This has been the Challenger Prime UI overview. Thanks for watching.